All right, show on, show on. Call the light, how about Shmi Oshai, how about Shemra Kakwadash, the blessed of the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who will, peace, blessings, and salutations go to the hope of let that scatter abroad. To your brothers out there pushing the shit with our righteousness and sincerity, and to the aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning, to you, I say, Sean Wong. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power, how about Shmi Oshai, and go going to tell the fine defeat, the lens, how about Shmi Oshai. Through the spirit of Rakak with Dasha, praise let's be edifying it straight to the point. Alright. So hey. And we're gonna uh, let's see, we're gonna start off, man. Okay. Let's start off in Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 8. We're gonna get right into it, man. Okay. Let me try not to make this lesson too long. Okay. Lord willing. Alright, we're gonna start off here. This is Isaiah chapter 46 and verse uh eight. Remember this, I show you Sunaki. Remember this, and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Verse 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Verse 10. The point. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. So the Lord Yahweh Shai's counsel is going to stand at the end of the day, man. Okay? So, hey, the counsel of the Lord is going to stand. So, and hey, when you, the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, you're going to find out that his words are true. Okay? And hey, the men of the Lord, we were telling you the truth the whole time, man. Okay? You're about to find out, okay? Who the true prophets are, man, okay? And who was warning you about the MOT to the B, okay? All right? And who's not warning you about the MOT B? Who's warning you about Jacob's trouble? And who was not warning you about Jacob's trouble? And as a matter of fact, let me get a scripture to substantiate that. Because it should be very, very clear on who's warning you and who's not, okay? The Israelite group that's been warning you, especially the apostles and the elders, been warning you for 30 plus years, okay? The elders and the apostles, the elder bishops, and the brothers on down, okay? And, of course, the like-minded brothers that teach the likewise doctrine of Great Millstone, man, okay? Those are the true prophets, man, okay, that have the 144% truth, man, okay? Now, do we know? Now, do we know everything? No. But, hey, we know that we have the truth about the MOTB, okay? Okay? And you still got other Israelite groups that are saying that, the MOTB is sin, okay? And you know what Israelite group that is, okay? Saying it's sleeping with so-called white women, this and that. John 3, 16, all these things, man, okay? But hey, the only group that's warning you about the MOTB and telling you the truth, okay? Hey, it's the men of Great Millstone, man, okay? Point blank, period. And, of course, the like-minded men that teach the doctrine of Great Millstone, man, okay? Starting with our elders and the apostles who we learned this truth from. Okay. Let's read this. This is Malachi chapter 3 and verse 18. Straight to the point. Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth Yahweh and him that serveth him not. Okay. So it should be very plain and clear on who's warning you man. Okay. And who's telling you to not to take this thing man. Okay. Now you got these Israelite, this Israelite group that's telling you that. The, the MOTB is sin. No, taking it is sin, but it's not sin, okay? It is the sea hip, man. The, or the uh, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to say the word because I don't want this video to get taken down. But you go to my community session. Hey, it's right there, okay? Go to my community session, all right? And hey, you'll see it for yourself. That's what I'll say right there because I post the article and I post the picture. So there you go. You go to my community session and you can see it right there, man. That what's plain is clear is the MOTB. All right, and I'm gonna leave it there. Let's move on. Let's see. Let's go here. Okay. This is Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling and blossoms unto the wicked. Okay. This truth. Okay. This uh gospel. Okay, it's a stumbling block into the wicked, man. Okay, that's why you got these other Israelite camps group that can't get it, man. That can't seem to get it. They probably know what it is, but they're not going to teach it. 
Why? Because they're under that 501c3 charter. So they're not allowed to talk about certain things. When you're under that 501c3 charter, you're not allowed to talk about certain things, man. Okay? Got our people, all right? They still calling on JC, all right? And you know who JC is. I'm not going to say it, okay? So, hey, it's a stomach blocking to them, man, okay? And the guy that was a part of the Ezra Light Groups that was once teaching you the name and was once teaching the names, all right? Back way before I was, uh, before I came to the truth, man. Way, way before I came to the truth. And that was in the 90s, man. I was a little kid in the 90s, man. Didn't know what a Hebrew Israelite was, man. Okay? I was a little kid. Okay? A guy that's a part of that Israelite camp group that was teaching the correct names. All right? <laughs> you know who the guy is. I got to tell you who he is, man. Okay? You know who I'm talking about, okay? This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, okay? So as this gospel, this truth be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. It's hid to two-thirds of our people. It is hid to those that, are know, that know their Israelites, man, okay? And the Lord Yahweh Shiyah Shai didn't get the spirit to, okay? Like the Lord said, he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, and we're going to get that. Okay, let's read verse 4. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 4 and verse 4. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, needs the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. Okay, unless the Lord Yahweh Shai shall open their eyes and their ears, okay, to get this, uh, to get this gospel and receive, <coughs> excuse me, Sloppy, sorry about that. And receive. <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. I'm bad. <laughs> Man, when I want to do a lesson. <laughs> All right, like I was saying, Lord will open up the eyes and the ears of those who will receive the gospel, man. Okay? So, hey, okay? Whoever he wants to receive this gospel, they're going to receive it. And only the elect is going to receive this gospel, man. Only the elect is going to, you know, get it. The two-thirds, all right, those that know the Israelites but can't see to see the prophecy and can't seem to get it, hey, the Lord blinded them, okay? Let's read this. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for? But the election have attained it, and the rest were blind. Only the elect is going to see the prophecies. Only the elect is going to see what the MOTV is, what Jacob's trouble is, man. Who Esau Edom is, okay? So, hey, only the elect is going to receive this truth. Not everybody's going to receive it. Not even two-thirds of our people, okay? Let's read verse 8. Let's read verse 7 again. Romans 11 and verse 7 again. What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. Verse 8, according as it is written, Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes, slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. Two thirds can't get it, okay? Those that know the Israelites, they can't get it, man. Can't receive it, okay? Either the Lord's going to open your eyes and your ears to see, or the Lord's going to blind you, man. Or going to keep that blindfold on you, okay? Until. The prophecies come to pass. And hey, you're about to know that there's been a true prophet among you. Okay? Verse 9. Um, yeah, verse 9. And David saith, let, this, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Verse 10. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their backs away. Okay? And as a matter of fact, I was thinking of a scripture, okay? Let me get this scripture. This is Matthew, I think it's uh, Matthew 13, I believe. And mm, hold on. Let me look for it. Mm. Yep, here we are. Yes. Let's see when I want to start. 
Um, let's start at verse 14. Um, so, uh, let's see. You know what? Let's start it. Uh, <laughs> let's start at verse 13. Okay. Matthew chapter 13, verse 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeth, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not. Do neither do they understand. Verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which is which, sorry, which said, By hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not proceed all right and that scripture is in isaiah let's get it we're gonna come back let's go to isaiah chapter 6 and we're gonna start at verse 8 isaiah chapter 6 and verse 8 also i hear the voice of the glory shall saying whom shall i send and who will go for us then said i here i am send me Verse 9, and he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Okay, this is scripture we just got through reading in Matthew. Okay, okay, so Yahweh was basically quoting Isaiah chapter 6, man. He was quoting the Old Testament, man. Okay, verse 10, Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, and cover and and convert and be healed. Okay, so the Lord said basically, make these people's ears heavy and shut their eyes that they can't see the prophecies, man. And a lot of our people can't see the prophecies. A lot of our people they hear this word but they can't receive it, man. They can't receive it. They can't get it. That's why they come up against this word, man. That's why a lot of our people, two-thirds of our people, they come up against this word. They come up against the truth, okay? Now let's go back to Matthew chapter uh, 13 and verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear and understand, and shall, un sorry, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not proceed. Verse 15. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, least at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their hearts, which means the minds, by the way, and should be converted, and I should heal them. See? So, hey, Yahweh Shai was quoting Okay, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8 through 10, man. Okay, in the Old Testament, man. Okay, there you go. Let's read verse uh, 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and blessed and your ears, for they hear. So, hey, if you can receive this word, if you can receive this truth, man, you're blessed. Okay, let's read it again. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 16. Bless are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Okay? Verse 17, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things, which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things, which ye hear, and have not heard them. Okay? A lot of these prophets, man, a lot of these <laughs> men, Okay, claim they're teaching the truth, man. All right, these Israelite groups, these Israelite camps, you know who they are. Okay, hey, they wish they can see, they wish they can, uh, you know, see the prophecies, but they can't. Why? Because the Lord has blinded them, man. Okay, like he says, he, hey, he's closed their eyes and he's dulled their ears, man, so they can't hear and they can't receive it. Okay. And many of our people, man, two-thirds of our people, they can't receive it. That's why they come up against this word, okay? So, hey, if you can receive this truth, man, hey, you're blessed. Don't take it for granted, okay? <clears throat> this is uh, Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. 
Surely the Lord Yahweh and shall have power will do nothing. But he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? Did not the Lord say he will give you pastors according to his heart? Okay? And as a matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Okay? So the Lord Yahweh and shall have he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. The one that he's called to preach his word. Okay? Let's go to that scripture. Jeremiah 3 and verse C. Let's get, let's get straight to the point. Okay? Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see the men of the Lord. Okay? Thy eyes shall see thy teachers, man. Okay? And hey, we're feeding you with the knowledge and the understanding of your how about you shot. We're also warning you. Blowing that trumpet, okay? So, hey, don't take this for granted, man, okay? Because a lot of our people, they can't receive it, okay? This is uh, Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multi multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets, okay? So, the Lord, how about Shin Yashah? He speaks by his prophets, the men of the Lord, man. Okay, and like it said, like we read in Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Okay, let's go now to Isaiah chapter 48 and verse 3. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly. And they came to pass, okay? So, hey, the Lord declared these things from the beginning, okay? And, hey, it went forth out of his mouth, okay? And the men of the Lord, hey, we prophesied of the things to come, okay? Excuse me. With a mouthpiece of the Lord, you have about you shine, okay? Point million period, man. Let's go to now Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. Straight to the point. So shall my word that... So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Okay, so the words of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahshua, are not going to come back to him void, man. Okay, the prophecies are being fulfilled. And 2023 is the hopeful year that all the prophecies will come to pass, man. Okay, and we pray to Yahweh, Yahshua, that all the prophecies come to pass, man. Okay, Lord willing. Okay. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And who he reveals his secrets unto his, who to? Okay, his servants, the prophets, man. Okay, the dark sayings of the prophecies, man. Let's get that. That's uh, Proverbs 1 and, yeah, let's get, let's start at verse uh, 5. Okay. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Okay? So a wise man is going to hear this word, man. Okay? That the Lord Yahweh has opened his ears and his eyes to see. Okay? Verse 6. To understand a proverb and the interpretation. The words of the wise and of their dark sayings, okay? So only the men of the Lord can understand these things, man. Okay? The dark sayings of the prophecies of this Bible, man. Okay? It wasn't given to everybody. Okay? Let's see. Yeah. That, let me finish my point in that. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, let's go here. This is Second Israel chapter 6 and verse 20. Uh, let's see. Mm. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to start at verse 18. Second Israel chapter 6 and verse 18. And it said, Behold, the day is come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. So the Lord Yahweh Shai is drawing, his day is drawing near, man. Okay? And he's about to visit who? He's about to visit Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man. Who's in rulership, man? Esau Edom, so-called white man, 
Okay? Verse 19. And will begin to make inquisition of them. What they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. Verse 20. The point. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. Then will I show these tokens. The prophecies, man. Okay. The books shall be opened before the firmament. And they shall see all together. Okay. And hey, the prophecies are coming to pass, man. Okay, so we're that close to the end of Esau and his rulership. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob's the beginning of it that follows. Okay, let's go to 2nd Israel chapter 7 and verse 26. Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass. These prophecies. And you see the prophecies about to come to pass, man. Okay, and like it says, all right, in Ezekiel 33 and verse 33. And lo, when this comes to pass, behold, it will come, roughly paraphrasing, then you're going to know that a true prophet has been among you. Okay? Second Israel chapter us. Uh, and I know I butchered that scripture. I'm going to get it anyway. I already got it, so I'm going to get it. I know I butchered it. Okay? Second Israel chapter 70, verse 26. Behold, the time shall come that these tokens which I have told thee shall come to pass. And the bride shall appear. Who's the bride? Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. All right. And she and she coming forth shall be seen. Now that now is withdrawal from the earth. Verse 27. And whosoever is delivered from the foreseen evils shall see my wonders. Okay. And we're about to see Yahweh Shai's wonders, man. Okay. So, hey, Yahweh Shai is on his way back, man. Okay, to take, hey, to put an end to Esau Edom's rulership. Okay, let's go to now. Let's see. Yeah, let's go here first. Let's go here. This, actually, before I do that, let's go to the scripture that I butchered. <laughs> okay, this is Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among among them, okay, so hey, when you see all these prophecies coming to pass, man, okay, the MOTB, all right, the digital tag, okay, and we all know what that digital tag is, World War Three, Jacob's Trouble, okay, Yahweh Shai returning and destroying Babylon the Great America, okay, okay, you're going to know that a prophet has been among you, a true prophet, let's read this again, Ezekiel 33, verse 33, and when this comes to pass, <clears throat> Excuse me. Lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. You're going to know that a true prophet was among you. Okay. And now let's go to here. Let's go here. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me unto even until this very day. So our people, they're a rebellious nation, man. Don't want to hear. Don't want to hearken. Don't want to listen to the men of the Lord. The mouthpiece of the men of the Lord, which is, hey, Yahweh B'Hashim Yahshai is using to warn you Israelites of the times and the calamity that is upon us, man. Okay? Verse 4. For they are imprudent children and stiff-hearted. Our people are stiff-necked, hard-headed. Don't want to listen. I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Power. Verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that, it, that there have been a prophet among them. You're going to know that a true prophet was among you real soon, man. Okay? And really, you should see now. Okay? This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. These prophecies are no longer delaying, man. They're coming to pass, and we see it, okay? The elect, we see the prophecies coming to pass, okay? Let's go here. We're about to wrap it up, all right? Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. For what is some did not believe? 
Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without an effect? God forbid, that means no. Yea, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay, so the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashi Yahshai, is true, man. Okay, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Let's get that scripture. Let's go to Numbers 23 and verse 18. It's 19. Numbers 23 and 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man, which is Yahweh Shai, by the way, that he should repent. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So the Lord Yahweh Shai is making good on his promises, man, and the words, okay? So, hey, if you don't have faith, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man, okay? Let's go here, and we're going to close it out. Second Israel chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou the it's not gonna read that again. Second Israel chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord Yahweh. So we speak this truth, man, to you. We speak the prophecies. Okay? Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Verse 3. Let not the imp let not the sorry, let me read that again. Second is chapter 15, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So we're not gonna let your doubts, all right, your unbelief trouble us, man. Okay? Why? Verse 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay? So hey, you lost faith, you went back in the world. You saying that the problem was taking too long, blah, blah, blah. You took your hand off the plow, man, you're going to die, man. Like it says, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, okay? And hey, like it says in uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 2, it says, Woe to you who is not patient, and what will you do? When, hey, the Lord Yahweh Shion tries to visit you, roughly paraphrasing, man. So, hey, the prophecies are coming to pass, man. Okay, and the Lord reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Okay, uh, let's see anything else I had. Mm. Nope, I'm in here, man. I got hey, I done made my point, man. Okay, so Lord willing, I pray his lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakak Wadash, double guns to the Yels and the Apostles, a great minister on who will peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for let that scatter broad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord Willing. Kwam Yashin Rama, Shana Wam. Why about a ball about a one detail about a ball soon, Lord Willing. Boom! Shana Wam till next time. Shana Wam.